moments Dybala. Earn a player moments Dybala, commemorating that time my opponent scored an absolute trash goal at the end of the game, and then it's raining men came on in the stadium, and my and Vanderstar loved it. There were naked guys. Were those guys naked? In FIFA 21. Got him. Are there strippers celebrating? Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. San Pellegrino. What Serie A episode wouldn't be complete with a delicious sparkling water San Pellegrino? It's not an advertisement. When you absolutely positively need to be refreshed in the most incredible way when you're recording a Serie A episode. Yeah. Uno, due, tre, vaffanculo! Also, when you woke up about an hour ago, so you're getting the latest Players Wave View episode that's ever been out ever, you need yourself a Dunkin' Donuts with a double shot. Also, vaffanculo. Freaking love Duncan guy. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 91 player moments Paulo Dybala, aka La Hoya, the jewel of Argentina, the jewel of the Serie A, and the jewel represented in the form of the Serie A, giving us discount, uh, giving us discount SPCs and discount player prices left, right, and center. What some leagues you might have to pay three or four hundred thousand coins for, we can simply pay 180 to 200,000 coins in the form of, like I said, a 91 La Hoya. Now, the Frank Ribery, obviously incredibly, incredibly expensive. Gonna, I promise going to get you guys a gameplay player's way view out over the course of the next few days might even be sometime this week i uh, just need to grind towards that but this Paulo Dybala card, man, looks absolutely incredible. It's, like I said, 118 total in-game stat upgrade over the 88 card. And for those of you guys that tuned into my streams early on, uh, you guys will know that this guy was absolutely cracked. I used him as my center forward when I hit my first ever elite finish with Correa up top, and he was incredible. I can only imagine that this card is going to improve upon that. So, uh, player moments, Paulo Dybala coming in at a very, very solid 200,000 coins. Like I usually say, boys, if you guys do enjoy the episode, is, smash like on the video. If you think this is a top three dynamic pick in FIFA 21, also smash like on the video. Smash like on the video if you want to sip of the San Pellegrino. Oh, you hit you hit a like on the video. Here you go. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, but let's see what you get. So, it's 118 total in-game stat upgrade. Hunter is the most popular chem style to put on his, even his 88 card. And basically, all of his stats get absolutely banned, Jackson. We're going to get all the way over to the 83 because the 78 stamina was, was an issue that people had with, with the 88. And now that goes up plus 5 all the way to 83. 93 acceleration goes up to 99. Has 96 sprint speed with the Hunter chem style. Attacking positioning goes over 90 with the Hunter. Uh, finishing goes up to 97. Shot power goes up to 90. That was also a thing. Didn't have a whole lot of shot power on the 88 rated card. 90 long shots, 91 volleys, 89 penalties. Has 96 free kick accuracy, so he's a guy that's going to be able to do some free kick damage for you. And then you just get over the dribbling stats. And the cool thing about this card is you don't even have to touch the dribbling stats because they're already so jacked off. Uh, 64 strength, you're not using Apollo Dybala for strength. And then we get over to the we get over to the traits. Outside the foot shot, finesse shot, arguably the most lethal combo. Even has the flare on him uh, and is just an incredible card and uh, links into the CR7. So if you do have happen to have a 92 CR7 or a semi Kadira, he's easy to get in the squad as uh, like we do. So on the weekend league, I'm probably going to go with Kadira. I'm probably going to go with um, with some form of Delefeo, uh, who's going to get the link in it, and I have Lam as my left back. So we're going to test him out here. We're going to have Ronnie up top, see if he can do some van damage up top, and then we're going to have Paulo Dybala as the center forward, which is where I would recommend playing him, given that he has that finesse shot outside the foot shot uh, and that distant shooting as well. Uh, can also do some uh, damage inside the box with his finishing, but let's not delay things any further. Further. Let's take out La Hoya. Let's take this 91 rated card for a test drive. I can't believe he's like 180, 195,000 coins. Seemingly an incredible, incredible value. And if he plays anything like the 88 that we did our first ever elite finish in, I think he will be well worth the coins. Match number one, Vapanculo. Hola amigos y bienvenidos esta transmisión en mejor just. <laughs> little, little Snowman fashion show? Te gusta. Tegusi Galpa. Capacidad para desequilibrar el partido en cualquier momento. Y la verdad que hasta el momento, el que ha pagado la entrada, ya viste. Ahí está, ahí está, lo puede poner adelante. Look at... He thought I was going to cut in. Dibala. Oh, Ter Steggy. This is Bale. There you go, boys. You get him inside the box, he ain't missing. 
The one thing that I can tell you is we kind of glanced over. I kind of glanced over the weak foot thing. That's obviously the primary issue. That's one of the reasons. Uh, that's one of the reasons he massively discounted. I think he'd probably be about a fifty to one hundred thousand coins more expensive uh, if he did have the four star weak foot. But I can't tell you. There were many instances using his eighty-eight. I don't know if we're going to be able to be. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to put ourselves in too many situations here to test out that weak foot. But uh, I can tell you that it's really not that big of an issue. And look at the speed. And then look at the whippage. Look at the whippage with the finesse shot. The finesse shot trait, the outside the foot shot, not that we put that on display there, but the confidence that you feel now. The thing that we had with the 88 Paulo Dybala is like, you f sure, it was still a really, really good card, but now it's plus threes, plus fours across the board in some of the most, in some of the most key, uh, the, some of the most key categories. So one of the reasons you might not do this card is because of Papo Gomez, but it looks like Papo Gomez is going to Sevilla, so this might be the last time the Serie A boys, um have access to a delicious, delicious Papo Gomez card. Hey, Magnan, come on, boys. Uh, I think it's all but confirmed that he's going to Sevilla. There were some talks with MLS clubs. Who is that, Virgil? All right, I mean, I guess we got to take that if it's if it's big man Virgil. But um, Paulo Dybala, I mean, at least for FIFA 22, not, not that it matters for the purposes of this FIFA, uh, is probably going to be that new um, that new Papo Gomez type player. Except Papo is the four-star four-star, so that's obviously a, that's a leg up. And Papu's always just so damn cheap because you get the little bit of the uh, the Atalanta discount. Oh, by the way, Lazio. By the way, Lazio won today, which means our SMS, our Milinkovic Savage, is going to get the upgrade. He's going to go up to an 89. That's just how it goes. Hermosa asistencia y peligro. Werner. Goal. Cristiano. Oh, come on, hey, Dybala, we need that, my guy. See, the one thing that you have to really get used to with the Dybala, sometimes you, you're aware that he's got the three-star weak foot, so you freeze. And I, I froze momentarily there. I was like, wait a second, I, I'm going to shoot this with my left. He should be able to bang this crossbody and no question asked. Uh, no, no questions asked. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what that was. I mean, obviously, it's one instance. Um, was that a good save from the keeper? Was that a poor effort from Dybala? All right, so we get an 8.5 for Dybala. We get uh, two goals. We get zero assists. Two assists from uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. 26 out of 41 dribbles completed. Played pretty much like he did, but if there's one thing that I didn't love, I didn't love that miss, dude. I didn't love that miss. So here's uh, here's Paulo Dybala, and here's a little bit of that whippage, right? Here's a little bit of that, here's a little bit of that finesse shot. Here's a little bit of the pace that maybe he didn't have as much that you had to 100% use the hunter on. Um, and, and this card makes it so you don't have to 100% 100% use the hunter, right? So there's a nice little body faint there, uh, body faint right there, and there, there's some of that shot power. Uh, so that was pretty convincing, right? Pop body faint loses one defender, and then just absolutely rips it. Memphis. Ahí lo encontró bien metido entre líneas. Atento que se viene una ocasión. No, penal. Y desde el punto penal, Mario, la ocasión. No, no, penal, amigo. no era penal, amigo. No era penal, amigo. Sami Kedira. La pelota es de Dybala. Y ahí Got him. La Astro Boy Dybala. Dybala. Ooh, Paulo Dybala, the body fate, and then the pop. Look at that. He absolutely turns Beckham inside out. Uh, Yo, come on, push it. Yo, that's crazy, dude. Vicky felt like he might have had a solo. Oh, like I don't, I, I honestly, I don't know, how, I don't know what that is. I don't know how that goes in. Distance. Oh, like the read. <laughs> Ahí está Cristiano. Ahí se viene, lo va a tener. Uh, Paulo Dybala. Viva la vida. Jeez. Paulo Dybala with the scoop turn and then only able to do that because I think he's got the finesse shot trait. Was able to position rightly. Uh, was able to position himself last minute right before I pressed uh, right before I pressed circle. Uh, right before I press shoot and was able to bend it around the keeper with that uh, with that finesse shot trait.
Uh, Yo, come on, man! He... Yo, that's crazy, dude! Lorenzo, my guy. Uh, Yo, come on, man! He... Yo, that's crazy, dude! Se saque de manos. Bro, you gotta be kidding me, man. How does he... How did we miss that? Were those guys naked? Are there strippers celebrating? Are there strippers celebrating with his guys on the... Corre por la banda. And that's maybe, and, and then that's maybe his weak foot popping up. Is that reflective of Paul Dybala? The one that he missed, though, the one that he missed, I think, was actually a deflection because we got the ball back. So it clearly went off one of his players. But um, this was nice from Paulo Dybala. Again, nice little close-touch dribbling, little, um, I mean, this, this, this is peak Paulo Dybala, boys, right? We have him on getting behind, little scoop turn, gets past Rafa Varane, and then literally just with left analog stick, just controlling him how he is because he's got the finesse shot. Look at the whippage on that. Look at the absolute whippage on that. Doesn't look like it's even going in, and then bends it in like Bex. Literally, <laughs> erases David Beckham with the double body feints. One, two, body feint there, pop, and then curls it past uh, curls it past Banjo Kazooie. So I don't know. I mean, the three star weak foot obviously is still going to be an issue for you if that's a deal breaker. I mean, it, it's such a good value card. I mean, if, part of the reason that we do get him for cheap is because he does have the three star weak foot, right? Not a super attractive thing to have on the card. But um, part of the reason why he's a little bit cheap is because he has the three star weak foot. So if you can wrap your head around that, I like to play him as a center forward. So he's kind of centrally already. So I usually aren't, I'm usually not placing myself in too many positions where I have to shoot with his right. But I have used the 88 and he's banged him in. But in this epi, uh, most notably that one right there, that would have been that would have been either the game winner or the leveler. Uh, he goes ahead and he's not able to step up to the challenge. I'm not going to put the blame on him for blame on him for that send in from uh, Lozano. I think uh, his defender actually touched that. But um, at the end of the day, I think this is a really, really good value SPC. About 200,000 coins for one of the better attacking options in Serie A. If, like, top three attacking options in Serie A. I'll go so far as to say four and a half, uh, four out of five in terms of value on the Infinity Gauntlet. I am going to go ahead and also say four out of five in terms of on-the-pitch performance. I was expecting something a little bit juicier from him. I mean, I know four goals and two matches played from the center forward position is nothing to scoff at. But uh, there were parts of his card I was expecting a little bit more juice out of. I was a little bit disappointed that he didn't score that goal with the weak foot because we're used to him banging those in. But maybe that was a one-time thing. I think I will be playing the rest of my 27 or so weekend league games on stream tonight. Don't know if I'm going to be using the Suarezito or the Paulo Dybala. Maybe we just uh, table Dybala's weekend league uh, run for next weekend. So, um, yeah, that's those are my thoughts on the episode. A little bit later than usual just because we had to get this... Uh, we had to, uh, I woke up a little bit late and the content came out at 2.30, but I know there's a lot of you guys that want to find out if this Paulo Dybala is worth it. If you run a Serie A squad, I don't see a, re I don't see a situation where you wouldn't want to get him. Papu Gomez might be the reason that you don't get him if you guys want a tradable card. Uh, that uh, little tradable card that has four star, four star. But uh, that's going to do it for the Episodia, boys. The La Jolla Episodia. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Smash like if you did. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Adeh.